Hi kitty cats. So today I'm showing you how to make eggplant parmesan the way I make it. And I took two like mediums. One was medium, one was smaller um, sized eggplants. We got here. And I've sliced them and salted them. And I just let them sit for a while with the salt on them and it kind of takes some of the bitterness out of the eggplant and I will show you the next step after I, you only need to do this for like an hour some people might do it longer as you see there's little bits of peel here and there that I left some people don't peel it at all and that's fine if you don't want to peel it that's fine too um, and this is a way to do it. The way I do it is not as uh, fattening as, or greasy as some of the other ones you might have seen. I mean, there's still fat in it, but it's not as bad because I don't fry it in the pan. I actually bake it like a casserole. And so you're going to see how I make it. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to wipe the moisture off. I don't know if you can see that well, but there's little bits of moisture. We're going to wipe that off, which doesn't take too long. I just wipe them off. Okay. See, that's all the moisture stuff that was on there. And then we are going to egg and bread them and layer them. You'll see. Okay, so now we're doing this. We've got the breadcrumbs, which are panko, and they are seasoned with Italian seasonings and Parmesan cheese. Then we've got here, we've got a couple of eggs scrambled with some water. And I have taken a casserole dish, sprayed it with some Pam. And if you want to, you could mix flour into the panko crumbs too if you want to really have it to, you know, like really bready. So then we keep dipping to make the first layer. Yum, yum, yum. I really love the eggplant parmesan. It's okay if the eggplant, you know, ends up being on top of each other at all when you're layering. And then, what you're gonna do is take some sauce. Now, this can be sauce that you've made yourself. I can get it open. This might take me a minute. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so you're going to open up a jar of sauce or your homemade sauce, whatever works for you. And you're going to pour a little bit over. I don't really have measurements for this. Just, you know, a small layer. So, like that. So you don't have to go crazy with it or anything. And then, some cheese. I like to get shredded Italian cheese. You can shred it yourself. Do whatever you like. This has pro mozzarella, provolone, romano, asiago, and parmesan cheeses. So if you want just parmesan and mozzarella, that's good too. Whatever works for you. And how much cheese do you like? You know, I like it pretty cheesy. So if you like it really cheesy, Put more cheese on than I did. <laughs> and then you just start with another layer. So it's almost like lasagna with eggplant. You know, you're just layering this casserole. This is actually the way that um, this friend of mine's mom made it. Because my mom never made it when I was growing up at first because 
she didn't want to take the time, I think, to like fry everything. And she never, I don't even think she really ever had eggplant. Um, in a, this lady from my mom's church, she made it for us once for whatever reason. I don't know why she brought us a casserole of eggplant parmesan. And my mom was just like, this is so good. She couldn't believe how good it was. And she gave my mom the recipe and it was done like this. And um, some people are always surprised because, you know, most people fry it to death. And this woman did it like this where she just layered it in a casserole dish. So you just keep it layering away. And then it goes in the oven. I'm probably going to end up making two of these because this casserole dish is kind of on the big side. You know, on the small side. So, I'll probably make another casserole dish of this. So you put it in the oven at 350 for like 50 to 60 minutes. And then you end up with like this gorgeous, yummy casserole. And you serve it with whatever pasta you like. You can serve it with cooked spaghetti, cooked elbows, cooked bow ties, whatever is your preference is fine. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm gonna make another one. We'll see what happens. So I'll show you the finished product when we're done baking it. So here is the finished product. Looks pretty yummy, huh? Yep, yep, yep. When I'm finished layering it, I like to do the cheese and then I throw over the rest of the dumb breadcrumbs on top of it also. I think it just looks really good that way. But I don't always do that. So yeah, 350 for 50 minutes to an hour usually is fine. Uh, I cooked up some spaghetti to go with it. And yum yum yum. So I hope you really liked this video. Remember to share, subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And hit that bell twice if you want notifications. Always remember to be kind. Even when you want to slap them in the face. Bye-bye, kitty cats.